Uh, every once in a while, I like to have a high-powered Hollywood celebrity. I started off with uh, the always lovely Dave Keckner and um, hitting, hitting in the two spot, we got uh, the one and only Jay Moores. Jay Moores is legendary. He's a, he's a it's, do do. I actually was going to try to do your uh, your Tracy Morgan. I yeah, can't do. Bill Burr. His middle name is Frederick because he got pregnant. <laughs> That's why they named him William Frederick Burr because he was going to be president. <laughs> God damn it! I Jay got Moore, pregnant. Everybody. The other day. I got man pregnant. Tell can I can I hear a little? Uh, uh, Joe DeRosa requested a little Harvey Keitel. Can I hear Harvey? What Har- the fuck was Tony Bush thinking? Yeah, I want <laughs> to give steroids to a man like that. Alex Rodriguez? He's not from this country, is he? What the fuck? Everything was fine. Manny Ramirez, there was no paper trail. None. They busted him on fucking female hormones. Then you give it to A-Rod? There's no jobs in this town, are there? Dude, your fucking impressions. You, the thing I couldn't about- look you in the eye because I know you're looking at my face because you go because when I did Colin on mine you're like you're doing the face it's no, freaking you, me out doing- so I'm actually staring at a brick wall over your shoulder doing Kaitel. Oh, you know what's great? Like somewhere <clears throat> around here was where they shot uh, Reservoir Dogs. It doesn't exist anymore. Like the uh, the whole basically the what the fuck do you call it where you, you drain the bodies and all that and you, you throw them in a box. Cadavers. What's that word? Not cadavers. The fucking place where you process dead bodies. Morgue. A morgue. There you go. There you go. They were on that the was loading here? dock. Yeah, it was yeah. somewhere in here, and it doesn't exist anymore. We closed the loading dock down. We did so much acting. What the fuck was Joe thinking? You shot in the gut. But you don't die from your wounds. You're going to wish you were dead. But it takes days. Dude, how do you do that? I don't know. There's only what, some what I you, can... What do you pick up on? Because Harvey Keitel is a guy... It's really just Colin at a different pitch. What the fuck was what you know, Collins down here? You know what the fuck was Joe thinking? <laughs> that goddamn animal! You know he turned the whole place into a shooting gallery. Bang, bang, bang! If we look, if we could just get in touch with Joe, everything was gonna be all right. If we could just get in touch with Joe, everything will be all right. No, but there's something the way you do Kaitel. There's that chopping off of the word. I think, how, how you, Are you a doctor? How, how you pick that up? I don't know. I don't, I have no idea how, and I get asked a lot. A lot of times when I put my baby to bed, I'll just sit. He wants me to sit on the couch across from his crib, and I'm right. like, "Cool." And I'll just say, "Okay, I'm answering questions on Twitter now. Go." And everyone's like, "How do you do impressions? How do you do impressions?" And it's like, I can either do them or no. I'll get asked like, "What's an impression you're working on?" And I'm like, "No, it's never happened in my life. I can either do it the first time I open my mouth, right. or I can never, ever, ever, ever do it." Another one blew me away. You, you did Louis C.K. Oh, that was yeah. But it, I don't know if I'm doing the voice. I'm just a, 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 a fucking guy, and I'm sitting here with shit, and fucking shit in my hand, and fucking asshole cunt kids with fucking nut allergies. <laughs> Fuck them. That, that, that fucking fucker. Fucker with fucking shit in the mouth, and I'm a man with an asshole, and I just shit <laughs> out of it and eat, and I just fill it and shit it. I'm just a fucking human being, shit, eat, person, man. But that was, see, that wasn't I'm going to hang – well, you, whatever. I'm, I'm going to hang with you long enough, and eventually – You, you want to do Louie? No, you, I want, you, you're going to end up doing me at some point. I'll do you, okay? <laughs> okay? I'll tell you that much. New studios. Things are good, you know? Okay? <laughs> Just got back from the studios. Big tour. Appreciate all you guys coming out, okay? It's all right? <laughs> Go fuck yourself. I just tried. I wish, I wish I could do it. I wish I could you do wish it. You wish you could do you? You wish you could do you? No, I wish I could do it. Like, what the fuck? Not just do the no, ones no. everybody else does, because all I'm doing is, this is why my, I, I think you're the best, because you do, like, so many people do impressions of people's impressions, and the ones that you do, nobody else does. There's a guy, too, I'm really bad with the names, the guy who's on that, um, uh, oh, Jesus Christ, the fucking nerd show, Big Bang Theory. Yeah. I, he, used, he used to be on the, the other show that wasn't. 30 Rock that the guy from Friends did. Matthew Perry did a show called uh, The Studio or Studio 8H or something. Yeah. I know what you mean, but it was so an, this, an Aaron this, Sorkin show, wasn't it? Yeah, and, and this dude who's on the, uh, the fucking Planet show there. I, uh, it's a show about, like, Asperger's. Uh, I, I, I don't watch that shit. Big Bang Theory. I saw him. He, he did a Ben Stiller, and he did a Tom Cruise that were fucking unbelievable. Ben Stiller is a great Tom Cruise, too. Ben Stiller is one of the best impressionists 
ever. When he used to do the Ben Stiller show before Fox, when right. Janine Garofalo and Andy Dick and everybody was on it, when it was just Ben Stiller and this guy, Jeff Kahn, uh-huh. uh, just those two were the Ben Stiller show. And they would do mashups. They would do like Rain Man on Star Trek. Oh, that's awesome. It's like, who, who, who took you to space, Ray? Yeah. <laughs> With the big smile. <laughs> And uh, Jeff Kahn would have the Spock ears and go, yeah, you took me to space. And just do – like they all the movies, they would just mash two movies together. It was amazing. That's a very underrated sketch show too, I feel like. When pe- people will go – in the greatest of all time, they'll go like Chappelle. They'll go Mr. Show. Then they jump over the Ben Stiller show, go straight to uh, In Living Color. Then obviously SNL and some of them, Kids in the Hall. Some of them age poorly and some of them don't. When I, There's some that I watch now and I'm like, I don't – this must have been like uh, like clothing. When you watch old sitcoms and you're like, well, what the fuck was everybody wearing? I feel that way about comedy sometimes. Like old sitcoms. My wife said this to me once. She said all sitcoms, no matter how good they are, they're all orange in reruns. They're all like yellowy and weird looking. It's hilarious. Everyone's wearing like fucking mom jeans and you're like, what? Like you look at Seinfeld and you're like, this was the greatest show in the history of television. He's got mom jeans, white sneakers, and a mullet. And like a Christmas sweater, like, oh, my God. And, yeah, of course, know, it's a funny and, show. And you know what kills me <clears throat> is that show is already, like, some of those early episodes are already, like, 23 years ago, 24 years ago. Can you fucking believe that? And it's weird. And you're, and, but I'm, I'm not saying the comedy's bad. I'm saying it just ages so weird. And, but but, but, but my point understand. was I look at comedy, sketch shows, and stand-up. When I look at old stand-up uh, clips and if I listen to old albums, I'm like – well, wow, this must have been like a 1970s thing because this isn't funny at all. Like it was just right. such a so. Who do you thing. think? Who do you think holds up? Or Carlin and Pryor hold up, obviously. Cosby. Cosby, yeah. My first record, comedy record, I bought was to my brother Russell, and that whole second side was just him and his brother in the bed talking, mm-hmm. like trying to freak each other out. <laughs> like that's that's hysterical. Here's the address, Jay Glendale. <laughs> turns out it's not Glendale it's not at all. Glendale. Yeah, it turns out it's a it's not Glendale at all. There, you know. I don't know where the, I don't even know what town this is. No, come on, keep doing more north. All right, I got <clears throat> yeah, the uh, Chicago Cubs there. You know they got a new uh, mascot. Have you heard about this new mascot they got there? <laughs> you heard about that mascot they got? Uh, no, what about him? His name is Clark. He's a true, you know, and uh, <laughs> it's a a baby <laughs> cub with his head on backwards, and he uh, greets fans when they come in, you know. A baby cub. And those <laughs> cubs got a new mascot. Yeah, they should get a, like a bear tamer. One of those lion guys, you know. You like Take care of those cubs there. I don't know what a baby cub, how good a mascot that would be, you know. <laughs> I, I don't know. If that was a mascot. I, maybe a lion tamer with a chair, you know. Can I hear, can I hear some Harvey Keitel doing bad 80s stand-up? All right. Um. I don't mean to put you on the spot. No, I like it. I just know you it's can do it. It's a fun game. I dig it. I know it. you can do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just rifling through, but I got to make sure I don't do someone's actual material. That's the part. It's because we all have like fucking 18 minutes of David Brenner. You want to, isn't it weird when the vending machine takes up so much noise? No, it's not. It's a fucking vending machine. All right. Don't get me started on the girls. What are you supposed to do? You go and ask her out. You look your best. You've shaved. You've combed your hair. You presented yourself. She says no. Then all of a sudden, you have to act like you were trying to act her out, ask her out in the first place. You go, I'm sorry. There was a clock over your head. I was trying to find out what time it was. What do you think? I wanted a goddamn date? You're not that important. Get over yourself. Right now, I'm wearing mom jeans and a suit jacket with the sleeves rolled up. What the fuck is the airline thinking? Why don't you tell me the local time? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, The flight attendant comes out. She's rolling a cart. I have to stay in my seatbelt. Meanwhile, there's bottles of gin. (laughs) 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 Sorry. I slipped into Colin. You know... I have to say seat belted in, but meanwhile, she has a rolling cart with bottles of gin flying all over the place and loose ice. I don't know. That seemed a little incongruous to me. All right. That was Bill Burr Quinn. All right. <laughs> all right. All right, dude, my face is Let's do more viewer letters. That's always good, Bill, when you do that on the podcast. 
That's oh. why I subscribe to Bill Burr to hear what other people want to think. It's the Bill Burr podcast. Who cares what Jesse in Fontana is emailing you about? Who cares? Dude, my face is literally killing me from fucking Mine smiling. does too. You see how I have to contort to do that stupid Kaitel voice? All right. Well, what, what do you got coming up here that we can, we can hype here? When will this be out, honey? I'm going to fucking... Monday? I uh, know. Well, I, Monday uh, morning. I do them. Um, uh, these ones, I just put them out. Oh. When done. Oh, there's both even before oh. you get home there. Only one impression oh, I've ever learned me, was, me, was me, Pacino. Let me hear that. Me hear I that. never could do it, never could do it. And then, because uh, there's two different Pacinos, and my mind was all fucked up. Which one? Because young Pacino right. sounds like Tyne Daly from Cagney and Lacey. No, sir. We're Vietnam veterans. Killing don't mean nothing to us. Attica! Right. Put the gun down! Annie W, we play all the hits when he answers the phone and fucking talk the afternoon. <laughs> I can't promise you that. I got to talk to my boss. If you have a boss, why am I talking to you, huh? And then I don't know when it was. Somewhere around heat. Oh, everything got real heavy on my back. And my eyes got real big, Bill. Dude, you work with me. That's fucking believable. See, I don't even think this one's that good. But I worked with Al... On a movie that no one saw, <laughs> but we still did the work. You know what he said to me? I'll tell you. We were outside, and he looked at the sky. This is a true story, but I'm going to do it as him. Because it was a break while we were shooting, and he looked up at the moon, and he put his arm around me. He put his arm around me. <laughs> and he looked at the sky, and he said, that's our moon, babe. That's what he said. Now, I say that to my kids. And if you and I left here and the moon was out, I'd say it to you, Bill Burr. I love you. <laughs> fucking You're awesome. a good man. Al, I think what you're trying to say is Jay Moore had an interesting experience with you. Who the fuck <laughs> taught you to act, you cunt? I, I don't even know what everybody's arguing about. You know, I had like four movies going on at once. Dude, I that's... think everybody should make love and make one big acting pregnant baby. That's full circle, Bill Burr. Uh, me All Things Comedy Network, everybody. Uh, <laughs> featuring Jay Moore here, the Monday Morning Podcast. This was a very special episode. I hope we made you laugh. I hope we got you over your hump day. What is today? Tuesday? Today's Tuesday. All right, hump day's tomorrow. Whatever. You know, hump you guys day. enjoy what says every day in my house, Bill Burr, finger fucking on the handball courts. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, guys.